Obviously, if you're not a medical professional or an essential services worker, home is the best place to be right now. But your home doesn't have to be a prison when you can turn it into your powerhouse. Oh, hi. This is Brenna Quinlan. What are you doing? I'm self-isolating. <laughs> well, that's very convenient because so am I. And um, Brenna's got a very small house. So I'm wondering if you can tell us how you prevent yourself from going mad in this little place. Oh, there's heaps of things to do at home. All right, tell us what they are. I just um, touched your door handle with my sleeve. Is that okay? Yeah, that's all right. All right. Don't do it again. Uh, so we went and picked a bunch of tomatoes yesterday. Um, we have heaps, more than we need to eat fresh. So one of the things we've been doing with them is drying tomatoes. We've also been doing loads of pickling, getting stuff harvested now while it's abundant and ready for later on. We've got radishes here, we've got watermelon rind, a bit of carrot, we've got beetroot, mushrooms, um, cucumber pickles. Just got these out of the garden, we've got some daikon ready to go. Doing a bit of sewing. My mum's an excellent sewer. She turned this old blanket into a coat. Blanket coat, blanket coat. You can also sew patches on everything. <laughs> so I'm an artist, but everybody's a little bit creative. So if you like drawing or taking up a craft, now's the time to get into it. I'm also learning a new instrument. Um, does that see? Reading a really big, heavy book is great when you've got six months at home. Talking to friends over Zoom is almost as good as talking to them in real life. Hey Costa, how's it going? Haven't spoken to you in ages. We're also making some yogurt, baked some bread, brewed kombucha, made cheese. Now, what else going? It's also a really good idea to grow some plants if you can. If you don't have much space, you can strike some cuttings or grow some herbs in a pot on your balcony. Thanks, legend. Well. Hopefully every house will look more like this after six months, but you know, there's no time like the present to start. And if you do really, really have to go to town to pick up supplies, remember to wear a pair of these. And if you're lucky enough to have one, one of these. Or well, you've only got leftovers from last season's fashion, one of these. It doesn't matter if you look silly, it's about protecting yourself and your community, and also making a statement that the best thing we can do right now is to stay right where we are at home. So stay well, and let's flatten the curve.